Marhaba everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're making some seafood barbecue. Let's do this. First thing I'm doing is start the charcoals. I'm using just plain lump charcoal and not using the briquettes. And this is the best way to start it uh, without any chemicals, any starters, just a chimney and some paper under it to get it started. This is gonna take some time to get it started. So meanwhile, let's do some prep work and do the sauces. Now, first thing I'm making is some tartar sauce, just a plain simple tartar sauce. I couldn't find any dill to put in it, but I'm using just uh, small pickles, dicing them up really finely. But don't worry about mincing them because we're gonna mince it all together in the end. And just like we did with the pickles, we're gonna make some diced onions, some finely diced onions if you can. This was my first time making tartar sauce and my first time using Spanish capers too. They added a lot of good flavor to the sauce. Now we get to the mincing part, just with a rocking motion of your knife, going back and forth, mince it really really finely, just until you get it really fine, but have still some chunks in it. I added some mayonnaise, mixed it all together with everything that I minced, and it tasted really really good. Now for the garlic butter, I'm using to brush the shrimp and the crab we're making. I just finely diced it, then minced it like the uh, way I used for the tartar sauce. And then I grabbed the stick of Irish butter, cut it into four pieces, put it into a bowl, then into the microwave for 15 seconds at a time until melted. And just like that, we have some garlic butter. The charcoal is getting closer and closer to embering, so we gotta do it fast. Let's prep the shrimp. This is my first time making shrimp or crab. I've eaten shrimp before, but not crab. And I've learned of a way to de-vein it without any hassle. Just use a skewer, put it under the vein a little bit, and then pull it out. It comes right out, all of it, and you can do this really fast. That was a nice little hack I wanted to share with you all. After we're done deveining all of the shrimp, I started skewering it. I put just three shrimps on each skewer. Didn't take a lot of time, but my first one wasn't as good as my last skewer. <laughs> that one looks really good, right? Now it's time to cook the crab. I'm using this pot with a strainer I got online. It's really amazing if you want to cook pasta or uh, vegetables and strain it without taking out another strainer. Cooking the crabs didn't take a lot of time. It was quick, just a few minutes. Now let's get to barbecue. In the end, everything turned out really good, really tasty, and thank you all for watching. 